Hey, this is Mike. You're not going to believe this. I just happened to drive by Judd Coon Chevrolet here in uh, North Royal Beach, South Carolina. And they just happened to have a 2015 Dodge Challenger Hellcat sitting on the lot. So I talked to the guy here. He said I can do a quick video on this vehicle. And um, so needless to say, I'm very appreciative of him and I'll have his contact information, his phone number, the dealership information in the description so you can contact uh, them on a Hellcat if they still have this one. If not, you know, they can probably get you another one. Uh, I work at a Dodge dealership and we don't have a Hellcat on the lot so they've got some good connections and they got an awesome car. So here's under the hood here, supercharged Hemi. Now, all the specs of this vehicle has been all over the news, and I can't. I'm so excited I can't even think straight on on all the numbers. I know it's 707 horsepower and all that stuff, but um, as far as all the specs, I'm not gonna write all those off because I can't even remember all of them. I just want to show you this car, SRT. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we've got some. Let's see here where some air goes in right here. Has like a little air induction thing. I'm not really sure, but that's that's pretty neat. You can't even tell it until you really put your hand in there and you can tell it's kind of hollow. Now I'm wondering um, if these cars come with like fog lights or something because this one doesn't have it. But it does have the halo projector headlights. And um, check out those wheels. It's got the Brembo brakes. I don't know, four piston maybe. I don't know, maybe more. Pirelli tires. You got the slotted disc rotors. All right, let's check out this side. Now really the biggest difference in this car is A, it's got the uh, it's got the premium sound. We'll check that out in the trunk. But the biggest difference in this car would be the the horsepower. This is very similar to the other SRTs and even the Scat Pack in some ways. This one has the suede seats, proofread is swell, uh, suede seats, the SRT floor mats. So a lot of the design features are very similar to all the other Challengers in the 2015 model year. You got your backup camera here, backup sensors, it's got the SRT badge here. Now I don't have the key to this thing, so I'm going to see if I can have them start it up so I can do a sound, so you can hear what it sounds like, because that's one of the cool factors here. Go ahead and look in the trunk. Alright. Looks like a regular old trunk. Let's see if they got the... Yes, there's the subwoofers. The Harman Kardon... This is the Sound Group 3, if I remember correctly. No uh, spare tire, but it does have an awesome sound system, and your, uh, you'd have a, like a tire pump there with some sealant. Your battery is back here. But this is the first time I've seen one of these, the, uh, the Sound Group 3. The Sound Group 2 is a little cheesy. It's got a subwoofer here in the, up there, and you can't see it, and you can barely hear it, so really glad this one has a Sound Group 3. Fuel cap. There you go. It there, bottle holder, power seat. It's got the automatic headlights, dimmers, has a power adjustable steering wheel.
Yeah, don't have the key. So, key fob not detected. I'm gonna see if I can remedy remedy that situation, but um, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, you just handed me the key. Appreciate it. And you see when you turn it on, you have the, the Hellcat symbol right there. Now, has the launch control SRT. A lot of these features I'm not 100% familiar with, but this is because <laughs> this is kind of like a spontaneous video and I didn't actually have a chance to prepare for it. So I just want to show you what I see. So here on the steering wheel, you've got your normal stuff. Now I notice this has little dimples here. It has uh, some little dimples here in the steering wheel and it's a grip. The, the grip feels really good. Some of the, I know some of the leather wrap steering wheels has like a slippery feel to it, but this one with the dimples makes a difference to me. Uh, volume on the back of the steering wheel, just like all the other ones. And then you've got the concave gauge is there and it's like a red background so right now he's got it set to I guess valet mode top speed 24 miles per hour which I'm not planning on driving it so that's cool um, so this one has 96 miles on it so I'm just gonna kind of scroll through fuel economy see what that looks like go back up yeah it just goes there all right down Trip A, you got your trips, audio, messages, screen setup, diagnostics. Wow, you can do a diagnostic on the vehicle. There's your speedometer, vehicle info. It's got tire pressure, coolant temperature, oil temperature. All this is stuff is very similar to the scat pack, I guess you can say. performance now right now top speed 24 miles per hour 0 to 60 timer 0 to 100 timer reaction time quarter mile braking distance there's the g-force meter just like the scat pack peak and current interesting and then you got a lap timer lap history so a lot of this is similar to the some of the scat pack so that's pretty neat so the radio this is the 8.4 uconnect radio has navigation and all that good stuff so we've got the radio there's the media you got your controls and it seems to be blocking me out on some stuff since it has since it has the uh, I guess it's in valet mode so you, you have your basic Garmin uh, navigation there on your phone. Let's go into here. I'm not going to register now. Uh, it does have travel link, which you've seen that in other videos. Now I'm going to push the SRT button here. The ignition must be run position to use drive modes. Alright, so I'm going to put it in run. Oh sweet, it's got like a drivetrain. You got race options, launch control, shift light. I'm not gonna activate launch control. Got the red key. This is the one he gave me the red key. So it's recognizing the key there. So we got track. Sport, custom, default. All right. I'm hoping I don't overlook anything. Now this one's got the six-speed manual transmission, and uh, so it's awesome. First, first Challenger I've seen with a manual transmission. 
Now I'm going to put it back. I'm going to go ahead and turn the screen off so it doesn't drain the battery. But um, there's your inputs for your radio. Got your Dodge Brothers right there. Glove compartment. Nothing special about that. Oh, there's an owner's manual. Now this is appears to be yeah this appears to be a standard um, owner's manual for the Challenger 2015. I'm not gonna open it. You can look it up that kind of stuff online. Rear view mirror is all standard. Garage door controls. Tap lights. Place to put your sunglasses. Look cool while you're driving around in your Hellcat. All that stuff is pretty much standard. So really. I mean this vehicle is all about the horsepower and the SRT features are found on other SRT vehicles. Um, yeah, this one's got the bright colored pedals. So that's the main feature. I mean 700 horsepower that's the the selling point on this vehicle. So I'm gonna see I'm gonna just put it in neutral start it up because I want to hear the if it'll start press clutch pedal and push button to start okay unique sound it's different than the scat pack it's a little bit more let's see here deeper sound it has like a real deep aggressive sound but anyway I probably skipped over a bunch of stuff because I'm so excited but um, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time